blow this scene Get everybody in the stuff together Okay everyday farm animal, but in the world of technological science, she's the very reason for the spark of a worldwide astonishment and curiosity over genetic engineering. On February 27th of 1997, the world discovered what exactly made Dolly so special. She was a clone. Ian Wilmot and his colleagues in the Rosslyn Institute in Scotland had succeeded in giving birth to a sheep using the cell of an adult sheep six years older than Dolly. Thanks to Dolly, who quickly became the most famous sheep on the planet, the power of technology had been proven. The advancements and breakthroughs we've made with genetic technology are so amazing and so fast. Dolly has opened so many doors for us. Along with several other scientists, Dr. Heckel Jai is very excited about this new and amazing discovery about animal cloning. The idea of being able to take one animal and create an exact duplicate, like we did with Dolly, creates this window so we can see through and admire all the possibilities now available to us. It benefits humans in so many ways. Better quality livestock can be cloned for farmers so we can get higher quality meat, wool, and milk. We can clone animals to produce certain proteins and such for medical drugs. It's just endless possibilities. Animal cloning is now being followed with subsequent cloning successes with other animals, like mice and cattle. However, how far can scientists take if we are able to duplicate animals, in fact, there's a possibility we can duplicate humans. Human cloning. Creating a genetically identical copy of a human being. An incredible scheme presenting incredible opportunities in the world of science. Cloning human beings is such a great breakthrough in society. So many problems can be solved. Infertile parents can have children. Diseases like Down syndrome and tay sachs can be cured and prevented. Parents who lost their children can somehow have them back. It's, there's endless possibilities. What could be wrong? What could be wrong? What could possibly be wrong with the advancement of technological science that opens so many doors for the infertile and the ill? It's unethical. Plain and simple, you're creating an artificial human being. You're playing with nature. It's abusing God's gift. Reverend Jesse Sharpton has been an advocate of the Catholic Church's belief on genetic engineering. Human cloning is something that must be banned because what we're essentially doing is trying to create this perfect society. The cloned human being isn't a product of love, but of science. What can guarantee that the cloned human being will be treated as an equal? The only difference between a human born naturally and one born through the process of somatic cell nuclear transfer is just that. The way they were born. The Clones still maintain human traits. They still have a brain, a spinal cord, two lungs, and a heart. Human. They may have a physical beating heart, but the Catholic Church wonders if they will have a soul to correspond with it. God created the man and a woman for the purpose of being the father and the mother, joined in matrimony to a child. That's why God created Adam and Eve. Christ confirmed that their marriage was monotonous, because God planned for children to learn to love by seeing how their parents love each other. So who are the parents of the clone? They get deprived of this privilege. I've always wanted to have children, but I can never find the right man. So if I could skip that step, that'd just be great. Now with our advances in technology, we can use in vitro fertilization, where an egg and a sperm is mixed in a test tube, and bam, baby, no need for a man when there's male sperm donors. 